What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to, uh, I was about to say Grand Theft Auto then, welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And this is annoying me, so just quickly I'm going to put a road across there like, uh, like that. And I was just recording, literally five minutes ago, and my game freaking crashed. It loves me being successful this game, because every time I do something brilliant the game crashes. And it really sucks because we put in this train we redid some of the bus lines and we even started putting in a train line down here and then it just went nah I don't like your recording so yeah that absolutely sucked but I did learn a few valuable tips first being the people who like remember I was telling you that there's two types of people some people like cheap transport others like fast well the cheap people who want to get from Stab City to Sandy Shores they're fine, they'll just take the bus. But the fast people should take the train, but they wasn't. And the reason for that is because the game takes into account the walking distance from this stop to this station, which is a lot longer than you might think. So, basically nobody at Stab City was using this station, so we had terrible passenger usage. And the solution to that is you get one of these uh, little turnaround station point thingies, that's the correct term, and you pop one in just by there. And then these three lines here, so Clafia Loop 1, 2, and Cypress Flats, you just, I'm going to put them in order because I have OCD. Not literally, but you know. And what I'm going to do now is play some music because I always forget that part. Play, just so you have something nice to listen to in the background. Right, so after. Sorry, yeah, after three on the yellow line, I'm going to pop this in. Before seven, so after six on this line, I'm going to pop this in. And then we're 13, which way is, so before 13, which way, which 13's on that side. So after 13, after Broadway, I'm going to put in that. We should, I, I'm going to close these so I can see what I'm doing. So comes in, comes back out, no that's not right then. Right, 13, which side of the road is 13 on? It's coming that way, so it should be after 13, it might be before though. Yes it is. And then after 19, which is by there, stop there. So now it goes in before and after that stop. So now the people won't have to walk as far. They can just get off by there and they'll go straight on the thing. And we have straight away we got passengers, so that's good. Right, we've got 190,000. What I'm going to do by train, I'm going to buy a Baldwin six wheel. And these cars are very expensive. They're $272,000 a piece. And we're only going to need one to start off with. So we need about $220,000. But you'll be amazed how fast that builds up. The hardest part will be when we get the money and we're just blowing it instantly on buses and things. Because a lot of our lines, if I show you the lines quickly, a lot of our lines do... Uh, they're at up to capacity, so they do require more vehicles, like that one where I just saw, 60 out of 60, 72 out of 72, the Claffia lines, both of them, that. A lot of lines need vehicles, but I'm going to hold off on that because it's not 100% urgent. What I am going to do though, the city is expanding, at, like Sandy Shores is. So I'm going to put a bus stop by, oh, close we can get it to that, there, oh, come on, behave, there. I'm going to have one there and there, and which line is it, Sandy to Polito. So I'm going to take out 13, which is Queen Street, I love that, that one's called Grove Street. Grove Street is not by there in the real game, I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, after 12, I'm going to go there and then there, so people at the end of the city, which is mostly industrial but still, can get on the uh, stop. Right, that's fine. Another thing I'd like to say, if we go down to the city, and if I put it in top down view, you'll see that a lot of the streets 
in fact, pretty much all of them, are at right angles, because that's what it's like in the real Los Santos. The problem is, when cities expand, at the end of every month, the lag is the game working out where to put new streets. Like, it'll put this one in, this one, all of these are around the edge of pretty much new streets. And the problem is, it'll do it at pretty much any angle it pleases. Like, look at Vinewood, a lot of them coming off at random angles. So, I've put in a mod which makes as many streets as possible go off at right angles, because that's what it's like in Grand Theft Auto V, pretty much everywhere. So, I think that should definitely make the game look a lot more realistic and better. Right, we're at 125,000. So, I am going to cut out this weight here, and I'll bring you back when we got the money for a passenger carriage. Right, we're at Elysian Island, which is in the south of Los Santos, and the reason for that is, I think it was the last episode, we put in this station here, because I really do want a station here. But that's not to come yet, because if you remember, the bridge over this alone was like 600,000, and the one over here was 800,000, so just this track to La Mesa from Elysian Island would be over a million, which ain't happening, it'd be closer to two million actually. And that's just completely not happening. So, before my game crashed, that really annoyed me. But before that happened, we'd start printing a track from this station here between La Mesa and Cypress Flats. And it's going to go through this valley up north. I haven't decided where yet, but we'd started printing that in. Right, we nearly got enough of this train. i tell you one thing, guys. I almost had a freaking heart attack yesterday. I was lying in bed, and I was looking at the end of my bed, and I saw a black dot on the wall. And a dot is a very loose term. I looked at it, there was a spider, and I kid you not, it was bigger than a playing card. I hate spiders, and I live in Britain, the biggest thing I've ever dealt with is a daddy long legs, and that usually involves deodorant and a lighter. Don't try that. And this thing was huge, I got a cup to try and cup it and throw it outside and it wouldn't fit in the cup. I had to use a cereal bowl. This thing was massive. So I barely slept last night because I was terrified of a massive spider falling on my face and killing me. Not like I'm over dramatic, but I hate spiders. Right, anyway, we need a line. It's going from Sandy Shores to uh, Stab City. And this is going to be, I like this ultra blue. I really do. It's going to be TP Sandy Stab, go for it, and I put it on the line. So, obviously, I've got to ride this train. So, play, and here comes our little Baldwin six wheel on our very first passenger line. Uh, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to name it after a train in the last series because it was the first train I named after a very nice person who commented. So, this is going to be the TP. Uh, coupling Rhino. There you go, Coupling Rhino. You got a lovely train. Right, is this going to pick anyone up? Mm, no. Damn. Let's go first person. Oh wow, this hill's pretty steep up by here. I thought, I genuinely thought this was pretty flat. Oh wow, that's like a little canyon. It looks cool though, so I'm going to leave it in. That actually looks really cool. Bit steep, unrealistically steep, but meh, it's a video game. Who cares? Through here, and then across this fairly barren bit of desert, and look at that, look at sandy shores growing. That does look really cool. That is like your cliche Wild West town. And into the station, we actually got, what was that, four people? Oh, uh, five. We got five people using the train already. That is going to do well. And end of the year, minus $90,000. Damn it. Oh well. Right. Money. Let's look at the lines. So, Grapeseed Foods, 310000 Cypress Flats to Sandy, that needs more vehicles, that's 56000 The Calafia Loop Lines are earning 80 between them. Uh, Grapeseed Fuel's doing well. We are doing pretty well, I think. We're definitely doing better than the last couple of series where I just threw things in willy-nilly without really caring how much they made. So we've definitely improved. But as I said, we need more vehicles. And I don't think we're going to get positive before the end of the month. 
I'd, I'd love to know how much our monthly payments are now. Oh, we might get positive, actually. But not enough to buy anything, I don't think. 28. 2,000. Just it turns green, it's going to go through the new month, isn't it? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Our monthly payment's $54,000. What? What the hell? That doesn't sound right. That's a lot of money. Oh, well. Not really much I can do about it. It's, it's, it's a sign of progress. That's what I'm going to put it down to. So, oh, we haven't got any money yet. There's me thinking we're back positive for some reason. Right, while we're waiting for some cash, what lines need vehicles? Uh, I'm thinking grapeseed food needs it the most. So, come on, we need a bit of money, a bit of cash. What's annoying now is the next lot of vehicles are going to come out and we're going to have to replace all of them and God knows how much that's going to cost. A few hundred thousand, definitely. Right, 13.7. That was weird. Select. Uh, set line. I cannot read. Uh, didn't sleep very well last night, that's why. Uh, grape seed food, yep. Yeah. I have to double check that because why not? Right, we need... A lot of our lines need vehicles. Cypress Flats to Sandy, I think, needs some next. So we just need a bit of money. Come on, game. Build up some money. Train, you need to start making some money. Same with you, Pleto Fuel. I'm watching you. Back positive. It can be a bit tedious waiting for money to build up in this game. 10,000. There you go. One. Can we get two? I don't know, before the end of the month, probably not. I don't know, maybe. Yep. Yeah. And you're going on Cypress Flats to Sandy. There you come. And we're going to get another one? I think we are. Yes, we are. This, this can go, this can be a horse wagon. Uh, it can also go on the grapeseed food line and play. And pack down 50,000. Jesus Christ. That is ridiculous. I do want to start putting this train line in though. I think that'll be good. Because if we look at our lines. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to click a stop. I love that new feature. No, not the depot. A stop. Right, this line. This is currently the only line we have. Which goes from the south to the north. And it goes across, up the side and then back Cross. It's not very fast. So a train line will defi de definitely, definitely make us some money. And the great thing is, because in the real game we got the canyon here where the highway is, it's going to be relatively flat. The most expensive bit, as I found out, is this first bit through the canyon here because it's going to have to go up the side and dig in a lot. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put some more vehicles on first. So I'm going to pause it there while I do that. How many can we buy? Three? One, two. No, just two. You then. You, when you load, go on Calafia Loop 1. And you go on Calafia Loop 2. Now press play. And uh, we could have got another vehicle then. When it goes positive, again, I'm going to start building our train line. First of all, though, how's our other train line doing? Losing us 18, 18 for. That should pick up. Pleto Bay Fuel, why are you losing money? What Are you getting the fuel yet? No. Are you broke? You can't really break a fuel line because if a vehicle flips, it'll just go the other way. I meant a road line as well, not a fuel line. Um, I think they're all just on the way up there. They haven't reached it yet. Oh well. Right. Let's start putting in this lovely train line. Once we get the trains in, we're going to start making the big money. I hope. So, you come out across there like that. I'm going to turn the camera a bit. And just... Yeah, it's too steep to just go through like that. So... Right, pop that in. This is where trying to save money becomes crucial because look how much it is to go along the edge here. So, can we make that... We, seriously, we cannot make that any cheaper. 
about 12,000. We're going to have to work it along the side of the canyon. And we can't even make it cheaper. 60,000 for that. Like, seriously. This first bit is going to be the most expensive. But then after, once we get past that, we're going to earn a lot more money. So on the 30th, I paused it. Oh, my hotkeys. That's something, I don't know whether that's my my computer's problem or the game's problem, but sometimes the hotkeys don't work. Oh, that's going to be so expensive. It's digging into the hillside. Okay, if I press shift, it takes off the snap. So, 54, we can get that. There you go. Once it gets through this little valley bit, it's going to be so much cheaper. Right. Oh, will we get this? I doubt it. We need like 18,000. Come on. 30, come on. Oh, I think we might do it. Yes. We're not going to get the next bit, so it's pointless. How much? Oh, we can put that in. Yeah, once we get over this first bit, it's going to... Like, when we get out of the valley, essentially, we don't have to dig into the mountain anymore, that's when it's going to get cheaper. Right, close you for now. Uh, turn the camera, because I just find it easier. Right, train, how are you doing? You better be doing better. Like, nearly full, still losing money. That's weird. Ooh, I think they've delivered at Polito Bay, though, these trucks. Yep, yeah, 44... Eight of 160. Close you. 15,000. Right, I think the train's going to start making money soon. Nearly there. I think there's going to be some spectacular views through this part of the track, mind. Right, pop you in. Now we're at the top of the hill. Should be cheaper from here on out. As I say that, it's like 24,000. Oh, nearly got it. There you go. And now we've got to start working our way back down in a moment. Can we make that cheaper? Yep. A lot cheaper, actually. It's going to be bumpy, but it's only a temporary line. When we get the high-speed trains, we're going to redo most of our lines to make them cheaper. So that doesn't really matter. We just need to get out of this negative now. Uh, how's our towns doing? What's our populations like? So Elysian Island's still the smallest. Same with Chumash, because they're not connected. Biggest Los Santos, 800 people. Vinewood's doing well. Sandy Shores is growing. I think that that order is probably about right. Kind of. But the top bit, yeah. I don't know. Polito Bay should be a bit further up, though. It's like the third smallest. Oh, well. Right, pop you in. Wow, why was that so expensive then? Nineteen. Okay, that digs in a lot more than I was expecting. Seven. What? Okay. Huh, that's not happening. I'd rather this bit was more expensive and the next bit was cheaper. If that's how it's going to be. And pop you in like that. Now you're going to do something reasonable. Eight thousand. Small sections. That's the key. 16, there you go, right now he needs to start going downhill again, make you cheaper, there you go, follow this contour by here, 39, ah, we're back down, damn, and we're about to go through a new year, okay, I'm going to cut this out while we go through a new year, because we're just going to be negative for about three months now, and I'll bring you back then. Right, so it's March in the game, and we've gone through a new year. We didn't get any vehicles, unfortunately, but we're just going to continue on with this track. I do want to get this done before the end of the episode. We probably won't get a train on it yet, but I want to get just the main track done. Oh, wow. Really? That's going to be expensive, this part. Very bumpy, this track. Uh, at least it'll be nice and coastal for this part. 
for a very short length of time. Ah, we just missed that. Son of a gun. Ah, well. Right, we're making 313,000 still on the grapeseed food line. The Cypress Flats to Sandy line's making us a lovely 66. The Calafia line's are making us about 85 between them. Well, 82. Uh, grapeseed Fuel's doing quite well. The only thing losing us money still is the train, and I'm not quite sure why. The only thing I think is perhaps it's because... Wait, well, it's either because the low passenger usage, put that in, or because one carriage is not enough to cover the cost of the train. Hopefully we can put another one on soon. We'll get enough usage to justify it. That's the hope. Right, I need to start turning the camera now. Right, once we get to the highway, we're just going to follow the path of the highway. Make that a bit cheaper. And back through New Year. These end of the month payments are killers. At least we're on a flat part of the thing now. Like that long section there. It's only 11,000 to put in. That is certainly better. Right. Populations. I do like keeping an eye on the populations. Los Santos has gone down for some reason. Elysian Island will grow massively when we connect the train track to it. But that's not going to be for a few years in game. Right, back positive. Come on. We need to connect to the highway so we can run alongside it. Hmm. That's a bit expensive there. There we go. Gonna curve right a little bit here, I think. Or not. Pop that in there, like that, right. Alongside the highway, yeah. Pop you in. Right, this is gonna be cheaper now from here on out, hopefully. Just gotta follow the route of the highway. Right, pop you in there. Right, what I'm thinking now is maybe, because there's a lot of negative and waiting around, a time lapse so it'll go a lot quicker. Like, see what I mean? A lot of waiting around. And I'm also thinking we should relay Sandy Shores station. And perhaps we should just connect this straight onto the end of there. Because then we won't have to buy another train. Like, we'll, we won't have to buy two sets of trains for two different lines. We'll just have one line which goes from Stab City to, where does this go, La Mesa and Cypress Flats. I think that would be better. That would certainly encourage the usage and then we could justify putting more vehicles on there. So I'm thinking time lapse, relay station, and then I'll bring you back when I've sorted the line out. And to there. Uh, no, actually, no, it's got to go back, hasn't it? And stop back at Sandy Shores. Perfect. That is the line sorted out. Even the bus routes and all are there. 
I'm going to delete this now. Yep, yeah, confirm destruction, delete you, delete you. And that is fantastic. Have we got any passengers down here? Not yet. But I think, will any of these coaches drop them off? I think it's possible. You going to drop anyone off? No, not yet. Only a matter of time, though. I do want to upgrade the train, though. I really do. Right, is anyone on it for safe? Yet yeah, three people. Not going to get out money for that, but, you know. Buy trains. How much are the carriages? 272. When we get... <laughs> when we get 300,000, because that's right around the corner, obviously. When we do, though, I'm going to put another carriage on that train. Which will be fantastic. Uh... Do I spend some money on vehicles? I, I really should, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think I am. Hmm. Well, there goes the saving idea. I'm like this in real life. <laughs> I've got money, I'm going to save it. Oh, look, that's shiny, I want it. Um, great seed food, you're going on. And one, two. You both are going on Calafia one. Oh, one. Can we get another one? Yeah, I think we... Well, yeah, it's only the 11th. Come on, money. Build up. And... Nearly there. No. Yeah, even. And this is going on. Calafia 2. Fan dabby dozy. Right, what else needs vehicles? Right, RF Sandy does. One. Can we, guess, can we get another one? All right, we can. Nearly there, come on. There you go, two. You're going on, RF Cypress to Sandy. Uh, plate of fuel, probably should, shouldn't I? Yeah, one. Don't think we'll, no, we won't get another one. what I say, plate of fuel? Oh wow, that has gone up. That was one of our least profitable a moment ago. The train line's still losing us 24,000, but kind of expected that. It does need to build up. Have we got any passengers waiting down here yet? Should we have a ride on it? I think we should. None of you, really? Someone should. Come on, we need one person at least. No, it's not going to happen. Oh, someone did get dropped off there though. And into the station. Nobody, really? Why did those three people stay on? Okay. I reckon this is going to be, I'm going to go first person through here, and then I reckon third person for the rest, because I think this will be quite scenic up through these hills. It's going to be bumpy, but scenic. Up along this ledge here. This is going to be a nightmare to double track, because half of the thing, it runs along the highway. I think we might need to relay that highway, eventually. Through here, through the, through the forest, which isn't a forest in the real game, but you know. And up over this little ledge, bump, whatever you call it. I just want to see the sea come over the hill. I think that'll look pretty cool. It'd be nice if it was a bit less barren. Right. I just want to see the sea come over the horizon. I think that'll look awesome. Is it going to happen? Eek. No. It will somewhere, surely. Over here? Yep, yeah, there it is on the right hand side the ocean which isn't as spectacular as I thought but it's still pretty cool and down this hill and this is where we join up to the highway down by here there it is and we're going to race these things I'm going to go third person and on the coupling rhino we do need another carriage for this oh we've got a new vehicle no we don't damn Road Vehicle 38 has reached its lifetime and should be replaced. I will bear that in mind. Thanks, game. Right, now negative. So I suppose this ride is what we needed. Just while the money builds up. And along the highway and it starts to branch off by here on this straight section. This isn't as elegant as I hoped it would be, this curve. I thought it would be more of a gentle, gradual curve into the station. But it doesn't really matter. This train better make us some good money. It really must. I want to know where these passengers are going. 
Like, they went all the way down to the city and back, so... You know, that's a bit weird. And they stayed on. Please tell me they're not frozen. They're probably going to the other station. That's what it is. Damn. I don't know what we can do about that. I've been scrap the train and buy a new one, but I'm not doing that. If these don't get off at Stabby... Stabby City. Stab City, there it is. Uh, and I think these might be broken, these passengers, because they're trying to get off at the station which no longer exists. I think that may be the case. Come on. You better get off at Stab City. Ooh, look at that. The house is right next to the track. And into the station. Please get off. Yep. Yeah. Right, we've got two people. Right. Do we have any people down here? Oop. No. That, okay, that's a bit messed up. We've got no one at the station, we've got loads of people here. Why does no one want to go north? Because it's got to be quicker, surely. Unless it's because the frequency. Ooh, I didn't think about that. That might be a problem. That really might be a problem. How much is the train making us or losing us? 40,000, jeez. Uh, that might have been a mistake. RF Pleo Fuel, losing us money again. That needs more vehicles. That definitely, I think that's what it is. It loses money on the way back because they're all bunched up. Then when it gets down here, it makes a tad of money. But then when it gets back up to Pilot Bay, it just drops it all off at one time, gets a really big payment, goes right up the list, and then it starts losing money on the way back. I bet that's what it is. Right, where's the train? Oh, it has got someone for the city. That is good. That is good news. Otherwise, that would be a massive loss. <laughs> Not what we want. Right, I'm going to put some more vehicles on Pilot Fuel. One, two... Can we get another one? Yep, yeah, three, maybe a fourth. Come on, ten. There. Uh, plate of fuel. I think we're doing quite well. I just really need that train to start making some money. It's losing us 50,000 at the moment. That's really not good. Where is it? Yeah, it's definitely quicker. What's the frequency? 23 minutes, that's what it is. We need another train on there. But that is easier than said than done. Like, seriously. And look at all the fuel and oil built up. This thing's built up all over the place. There's a crap load of corn here. Hmm. There's definitely a lot of work to be done. Right, please be something. There's no one waiting still. What the hell, game? That we need that. That is like crucial to our survival. Ah, oh, this is a nightmare. The train still has no one on board. No one wants to go north, and that's odd. Unless it's just going to take some time to realise that the train's there for like Los Santos, and then people will start filtering down from there. But that's not ideal. We need a bridge across there. Well, we need two. We need a train bridge and a road bridge. Then, you know how much that's going to cost. A, a road bridge is cheaper. If I can get a road bridge for less than 100,000, I'm going to do it. Uh, just medium street, not like that. Yeah, that's much cheaper. $580,000. That's ridiculous. We need $272,000, at least. Well, be, can we take out any more loan yet? Ugh. It's frustrating. we got 70000 so we're still making money. Losing 70000 on the train now. Of course, there's a conundrum here. Because if we get enough money and we do put another train on... What if that doesn't make a difference? Then we're just going to be losing twice as much. Which is definitely not what we want. We do have 100,000. How much were the actual locomotives? I think they were 130. 
170. Oh, wow. I think we can get one. If I can buy one, no, not by the end of the month. If and when I can buy a locomotive, I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. Right, 173,000. I'm going to do it. Now we need 272,000. Jesus Christ. I do apologise that I curse a lot, but it's not... It's, it's very frustrating, this game. Let's just put it... Let's leave it at that. Just be grateful I'm not swearing full-on Tourette's, which I am good at. Right. I'm, I'm going to get a new passenger car before the end of the episode. I really am. Right, anything need a vehicle desperately? Calafia, both of them really do. Uh, Sandy Depleto does as well. Okay. That I can relate to. So, vehicle. Two horse carriages, so a bit more money. Come on. You know you want it. There's one. Want to get another one as well. Oh, we'll do it. There. Two. Both of you. Sandy Toledo. Where is it? There. And one. Calafia one. And another. No, not quite. Another one for Calafia two. We, the reason I'm printing more vehicles, I'm still focusing on these lines, because if the train line does continue to lose money, these these are a fallback. They need to keep making money, otherwise we're just going to go negative and never come back. Right, we need $272,000. Easier said than done. Where's the train? There. There's our train. Anyone waiting? Please be. Ah! Not gonna swear. Mustn't curse. Must not curse. Must, might be kids watching. At least we got passengers at the other one stop. That's not good either. Oh, go in there. That's fine. That scared me a moment. That did scare me. Populations. Where's it going? It's going to between La Mesa and Cypress Flats. Both are medium-sized towns. So there should be some demand. I think, what's the frequency on the Cypress Flats line? I got an idea. It's crazy, but it might work. Lines? Right. There's only one line connecting this side of the town to this side. And this is going to sound crazy. What if we change that? As in, no lines. So we need to get rid of just the top three. One, two, three. Oop, three. Right. I've now sabotaged this, so anyone that wants to go up north can no longer catch that line. Will that make a difference? Will it make a difference? If you want to find out the answer to that, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Because I'm going to leave it there, because I've got a fair bit of editing to do and venting my rage at the game crashing and losing all that footage. But we've done a lot this episode. We've connected the north to the south via a train line. A very expensive train line that's currently losing us money, but just ignore that. And we've got a few new vehicles on the lines. So I'm going to leave it there. Between this episode and the next, I'm going to save a bit of money. We're going to buy that other passenger car. We're going to half the frequency. And we are going to see if this line will make us some money. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.